Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be stalling a Hellcat lower air box in my Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. And uh, so I have everything. I ordered everything off of Mopar. I will leave uh, some links and some product numbers down in the description so you guys can be able to purchase it. For reference, 2019 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack uh, base model. And essentially what we're trying to do is just install the Hellcat air box. It allows a little bit more air to flow. Um, I'll show you guys here real quick in a second where kind of the air comes from, but I also have a Hellcat air filter that I'm going to be installing in the car. So definitely uh, can't wait to show you guys, probably going to have it on time lapse quite a bit, but let me at least show you the products that I'm working with, what you need to remove, kind of where you need to start at. So with that, we'll jump into it. All right. So you can notice here, uh, this is all hollowed out. Um, and you can see at the end of it, you can't see into the engine bay. It's just capped off. So essentially the Hellcat lower air box pulls in air from here and we'll connect a tube to right uh, down here. Uh, there are two screws right here that are really hard from what I'm told to get at and you just screw them out and then you twist the end cap off. Um, and then essentially we'll be stalling uh, the lower air box and then this cover will kind of go back on top of it. But in order to do this, we'll need to remove a lot of this housing and everything and just get it out of the way. Um, let me show you guys real quick what I'm working with. Uh, I will recommend, one thing you guys will really wanna research is this tube that you're using. Um, I saw another YouTuber who ordered the AFE intake tube and it didn't work. He tried getting it to work and it, it, it just didn't do it. So um, make sure and research the year of your car and that this tube will actually fit or work. So this is for the 2019 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. Um, and then, yeah, and then um, in here we have the lower air box. Uh, when I do take it out, I will show you guys kind of a comparison between the two. And then uh, lastly, I have just some weather strip seal. Um, this will just kind of help kind of cushion it as I put it in there. You know, just essentially, um, you want to get this plastic cover off. You can see it's just right here. This just, this just snaps off. Um, and then you have a bolt here, uh, here, and then side, um, clips in the back, and then we'll unplug, uh, some of the items up here just to make sure we can get all of this off. But, uh, yeah, uh, with that, we'll jump into it and I'll show you guys some comparisons to the boxes here in just a second. Uh, but uh, probably put it on time lapse for most of the part. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to. Okay, so here are the differences between the two air boxes can see here this is my stock one you can see here is the hellcat lower air box you can see back here that there's more room for airflow to come in and then obviously you have the inlet um, where it will connect to the headlight and it'll bring in more air um, on the old intake you're going to want to take this off right here this just slides out and then you're also going to want uh, this rubber piece back here. Um, and then you can see the weather stripping. That's what I bought it for. It's going to go on the back right there and on the bottom right here too. So um, those are kind of the differences between the two. Um, just as a heads up, this is the tool that will help take off the small um, screws that attach to the headlight cover. It's a T10. It's a torque wrench. Um, it is the hardest part of the project. So make sure and have this tool handy and it'll help you take it off. All right, so this is the air filter I'm going with. It is a Malay. It's not exactly made by Mopar, but it's really the same air filter. All of the stats and everything um, are exactly the same. So it should pass more air through. Um, a quick update, <laughs> see a lot of tools on the ground. Um, I've got it in, got the hose, got the housing in. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna put some weather stripping on this. I don't, I mean, it's, it's in there pretty good, but I don't know. I, I would like it to be a little bit more flush. Um, but I got my weather stripping on. I'm just letting you guys know right now, those two bolts are miserable um, to try and get out. So um, I'm gonna throw the air filter on, put everything back on, and then I'll give you guys an update at the end. Hey, 
Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I just want to do a quick wrap up on my lower Hellcat airbox intake and got everything installed last night. I uh, took it out for a drive. Honestly, you know, maybe I was just excited from completing the project, but the car was much more responsive. Um, it felt like it had more power, you know, where my car is a manual, sometimes taking off in first and second, you know, sometimes I have to give a little bit more gas because it just kind of wants to cut out. But I just felt like I noticed a big difference um, in terms of like ambient air versus what my air intake was. I noticed it kept the car much cooler. Um, if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments. Uh, the one thing that I do want to share with you guys is really as you guys do this, there's only two things that you need to worry about and really just want to touch on those super quick. So the two things, honestly, this install is super, super easy. But there's two things that I don't think others on YouTube have done a good job in sharing. And the two things that are most important in doing this is the screw. These little screws that go into the end cap, you can kind of see where they screw in. These little bears are a monster. Um, the screw that's closest to the passenger side is actually pretty easy to get to. It's this one on the driver's side um, is extremely, extremely difficult and that took me most of my time. Honestly, I think this install could take 20, 30 minutes. So the best thing you guys need to do is have a game plan for these screws and how you're gonna take them out. Um, I found that what they are, um, they're actually this pattern right here, if you guys can see that okay. Um, it's, a, it's a torque, um, so it's a T10 um, torque screw, and this is what you're gonna need to be able to take it out. So. Um, you know, I bought this tool from Ace Hardware. It worked really good um, on uh, the, the passenger side one, but the driver side one, I had to get creative. So the last thing that you guys will wanna do is, is the lower Hellcat airbox, you're gonna be able to find one. It's gonna fit your car. Um, but the tube that goes into the headlight and goes into the airbox, make sure it fits your model year. So the two things is you do this really super easy, have a game plan for those screws, and the second, make sure that tube fits your car. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked today's video. Um, honestly, I'm super excited. It was probably one of my favorite installs that I've done. Um, I definitely noticed some performance um, enhancements from it. So uh, leave a like, leave a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you next time. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to know it.